Well, it is my final day in San Pedro. It is the 1st of March, 2015. Uh, the house is not completely completed, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, we have Elisa standing out on her new front porch, and she is ready to move in, and she found a kite I left for. Uh, putting the final details in the house right now. They still need to get a kitchen installed and a little bit in the bathroom. Hola! Hola! Oh my God, she smiled. She never smiled. Okay, here we are. Uh, we still need kitchen counters to be put in here. Uh, the floors are courtesy the boss of Elizabeth. Uh, they went ahead and gave her money to put these in. And with the help of that and the material costs from Barry and Glow up in Canada, they ended up with beautiful new floors. Uh, no, I got that wrong. Walt and Pat in Canada uh, helped with the floors and the materials. This is a gift of uh, Barry and Glow up in Canada. Thank you very much. That was a last minute thing. We didn't think we were going to have a fridge in here. They've got a brand new fridge in the house. Uh, Ian helped out with that. We've got them a real electrical box uh, outside of not having the cables and conduit we probably pass code in Florida uh, they're gonna wait till the end of the month to paint uh, we've got all new lights uh, the globes and that are on them those are thanks to Lisa and Rocky out in Colorado uh, the steel over there and the cement over there and a lot of other things Thanks to Ron and his family up in Chicago. Those guys really donated and went out a lot of their way to help. Uh, get the bathroom in here. We've got, we were planning to do the tile in here and that, and uh, the rest of the floors are a bonus. So, the new hot water unit, which most of you people are not familiar with, uh, this is referred to as a suicide shower because we have nice little electrical wires coming right out here and connect up here. This one actually has a ground cable, so if you touch it when you're in the shower, you probably will not get shocked, though I told them not to try, try it anyway. But anyway, Lisa and Rocky, they are excited. They've never even had a shower of their own, let alone a hot shower. Uh-oh, there's trouble. Ended up with very nice doors. This will be Elise's bedroom. Uh, they've used a combination in here of uh, calcium and cement. So we're letting it dry to the end of the month before they go ahead and uh, paint everything. And Clemente's got a couple covers for there. He's got a stick on he took off. But anyway, uh, quite happy with uh, the way everything turned out. Thank you very much for everybody that's been part of this or has helped donate or anything you could. Uh, we're really changing somebody's family. If you want to see the great difference from where they live to where they're moving, is go down the page on Facebook at Clemente House Fund and look at the original video I shot of where they live with 11 people. They are going to be three people living in this house, and they are excited. It is within their budget. They can afford to maintain and run it. So it's not like they're getting something they can't, can't deal with. Uh, I've asked them never use the house for collateral. They, they've owned it outright. Uh, so they're, the only, they're going to pay back the money so they have a retirement fund for himself and a education fund for his daughter. So they're going to put the money back in two accounts and that way I told them they'll have a retirement fund started. Plus, here it's not good to just receive everything as gifts. So they're going to have to go ahead and uh, pay this off to themselves. And, uh, okay, what was that? Oh, that's it over there. And that's it's another future for them. So anyway, there's the El Dueño El Casa. He's not happy today, I can tell. He wants me to work late. He made me work till 7 o'clock last night, and it's barbecue day, and I told him I'm going to the barbecue with or without him, so I guess he's going to join me. But anyway, this is the Casa de Clemente, Elizabeth, and Elisa, 
and uh, I hope in the future they'll update us with the current video when they get the house completed inside. I'm sure they will. Thanks again, everybody. Cheers.